everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually going to be a review and um i have not made a review in the longest in for the longest while and i have been asked to do a lot of reviews on a lot of different products and i don't know i just want to put them off on that spot because i really do like doing reviews and i like letting you all know products that are good to buy or not good to buy giving you my honest 100 percent honest opinions my take my personal experiences from the products so the first thing well it's two actually i'm going to be reviewing these unused palettes there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen palettes fourteen fifteen it's actually fifteen colors and it comes with let me show you this is the first one and this it comes with fourteen colors a matte black um a primer and a cream highlighter now there was a little bit I got two. This one is actually called Muted Bright, and this one is called Rainbow Bright. So, as you can see, this had melt there from when I had ordered it, and the person gave it to me for a lesser price from where I, I purchased it. So these are what they look like: Muted Bright and Rainbow Bright, and it does says um, Amuse right there, and this is what the back looks like. And I absolutely love these palettes. These are the best. I this these are actually the first Amuse palettes I use. And Amuse is like it's a lower end brand or a low end brand. But these eyeshadows are the best. As you can see, I really dug into, especially this color. It is the bomb. Let me see if I can, because my lighting is really bright. And then swatched. So that is it right there swatched look at the pigmentation in that and that is without a primer so you can imagine when you use a primer um say urban decay or to face shadow insurance or elf <coughs> excuse me you could just imagine or even if you use nyx jumbo pencil and milk you can imagine the pop of color you're gonna get and this is without primer so the pigmentation in these are excellent it's not just one it's not just one color it's not just two colors but it's all the colors are amazing um this matte black is really a true black look at that that's it black then this is a cream highlighter as i said and a primer and let me just dip my finger into the ooh, pick up too much this is the highlighter i'm swatching so that's the highlighter Obviously, you're not gonna put all that down your bridge of your nose on your cheekbone or on your cupid's bow, but look at the pigmentation in that. It's just really nice. That is the highlight. So, you could even use this as a base. Um, put your primer and then you use this as a base and then put it with shadow and then set it with uh, a makeup setting spray. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna show you this is just a normal primer, you know. So, that's what the primer looks like, the color of it. And then it will, you know blend into your skin tone so yeah my take on these i absolutely love them and i would definitely 100 percent recommend them they are so pigmented let me do swatches oh my i don't have any wipes oh yes i do <laughs> my baby wipes right here so i'm just gonna wipe off my hand and i'm gonna do swatches so i actually got this palette <coughs> well these two palettes from makeuphaven.com i have a personal experience where I, i'm not gonna be i'm not allowed to order from them again they would not be put it through my order they would not be delivering to me they told me not to order from them again so i'm not gonna order from them okay Psh, whatever that's their loss because i spent some good money behind them but i got these from makeup haven check cherry culture i don't like the service from makeup haven personal experience and they banned me so i can't order from them anyway but makeup haven is a facebook so not Facebook store, sorry, but they have a Facebook page and they have an online web store called Makeup Even. So if you know you could buy from them still if you want, I personally am not allowed to order from them. So big story of my life, right? Like story of my life. Anyway, so I'm gonna go on with this, these swatches. So you know what these remind me of? The pigmentation and the texture and everything reminds me of the Urban Decay's Naked palette. Like, not the colors, obviously, because they are bright, but the texture and 
and just I don't know everything about them it's just so soft and look at that I'm not even through yet so it's two different shades of um, gray silver but they look pretty much the same like they have two of everything because one's lighter and one's darker brighter and lighter I'm swatching them so I'm uh, sorry not done yet. I have two more colors to go from this palette. From this palette that I'm swatching. So, these are... Gosh, I am so stupid when it comes to swatching. So these are the colors. And the pigmentation is amazing, right? So yeah, so you guys see them. Right, so that was from this. Okay, so once again, the Amuse palette in Muted Brights, Muted Brights, Muted Brights, so I'm going to wipe them off with my wipe. <laughs> Hands off me, it's kind of wet now. Okay, so I, to be honest, have not touched this one as yet. This cream highlighter had leaked all over the primer and the matte black it also came like that it melted in this one also and I tried to scoop it up and fix it back as you can see it's pretty jacked up banged up looking so I will have to do the same thing with this because it's pretty much the same thing so this this is rainbow bright so I'm gonna swatch rainbow brights for you guys showing you guys the colors and the pigmentation of them which I just love and my wipes has disappeared Okay. I mean, if they if these palettes came in a lot of different colors, like a new, oh my gosh, a neutral palette, and this, uh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh, I could just imagine a neutral palette to this. But I, I'm sure you can find something look appropriate in this. Even though they're kind of bright, so I mean, you know. So, swatches of rainbow brights, which looks like this. Oh, I'm gonna do the matte black for you also. I like the fact that it comes with the both of them comes with a matte black. Like, look at that. So, that's rainbow brights. Look at the pigmentation. Oh my god, I can't get over the fact how soft they are. You know certain palettes have a certain name. I don't know what to call this. This is just the for I don't know how to I don't know. I think the name of it on the site was Amuse Eyeshadow Palette with Primer. I don't know. But this one comes with primer, highlighter, matte black and the colours. So guys, that's the swatches on my review. I know it was probably really short, but I just I have nothing more to say about these except good things. They are you saw for yourself, they are silky velvety soft and smooth and pigmented uber pigmented so guys if you can get your hands on these check cherry culture check anywhere that sells amuse products um i don't know if makeup even still has them because i do i think these were the last two that i got and i got both of them i was actually contemplating which one to get and i was like eh, just give me the both of them so that was my short simple review with like swatches of course and I love these palettes, definitely recommend them. I know I'm probably repeating myself over and over and over again, so I'm going to end this video now. But I love these palettes. If you can get your hands on them, please do. You will not be disappointed. So guys, until my next video, I hope you guys take care. God bless. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have these palettes or if you're planning to look for them. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Um, it's called the My Makeup Frenzy. I keep it's called my makeup frenzy and follow me on instagram it's thinkypoo92 so guys until next time see you guys in my next video bye take care